on a bus. hilarious after that whole several hour drive we got dropped off one street away from where we're staying it doesn't get better than that all in all that was pretty good um, the air conditioning was super good and because you're on a bigger bus you don't feel as sick I'd do it again Okay, so we've never done this before, but um, I think it was super necessary. The Hive hostel that we originally booked, we got inside, paid the bill, walked four floors up to an eight bedroom dorm and- The clean beds. The clean beds for us. There were workers sleeping in them on their breaks and there were not lock boxes big enough for our bags and there were just random people not staying at the hostel sleeping in the room we also were slightly overcharged which i understand like the exchange rate can be a little different at times but we were overcharged by like quite a few dollars and it just didn't seem right we weren't given a key like i honestly think that you just go into the dorm at any time and so we really didn't feel safe, like leaving our bags there, like even to just go out and roam for the day. We got three fourths of our money back. He did not refund us fully, but you know, there are just some points where losing $6 is just not worth stupidity. And that was just not okay. So we packed up our stuff, went and looked at our itinerary and all the things that I had looked to do not that interesting and not really different than what we've already seen so we are actually going to speed up the trip a little bit and we are only going to stay here one night and then we will take a overnight bus to thailand tomorrow but for tonight we found a new place we use rewards from our chase visa card we are not in a dorm so we have some privacy we have a lock we've got air conditioning free water we're good Good morning. Good morning. We had a lovely sleep last night. It was much needed after yesterday. Today we are on a little bit of a tight schedule. We are leaving the country early, so our bus is out of the north of Thailand in the border town of Nong Kai tonight at 8.15 p.m. So today we're going to hustle through some of the major sites this morning, get back to our hotel here by 11 a.m. Shower up, pack up, check out, <laughs> find a coffee shop to hang out in all day, and then we'll head across the border later this afternoon. All right, which way? Left, I think. Okay. Per usual, we are walking, and our first stop is a really famous French-inspired monument called the <laughs> it kind of looks like the Arc de Triomphe. Triomphe, yeah. In Paris. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go check it out. We made it to the place. The name we don't know how to say? The monument. And it's really pretty. It's like half 
French, half Lao. There's the French arches, but then there's the Lao inspired details. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. every 10 to 20 minutes at the bus station so yeah I mean the max it would be is an hour if you end up waiting for the bus but we didn't so this is great yep it's a lot busier because it's uh, the border crossing is at a major city so this might be a little bit more interesting than the last time we came into Laos yeah but we've got like four hours to kill so we should be fine <laughs> So in order to cross the border, you have to buy your smart passes at this little kiosk right back here. Anything outside of the hours of 9 to 4 p.m. is counted as overtime. So even though they're open, you still have to pay overtime. So it was 22,000 kit per person to get these two little passes to cross. And now Tay is here at the um, exchange service getting rid of our Laos kit because we don't need it anymore. You done? Give our little ticket things. I do. Okay, we made it through. You have to spend 4,000 kip per person to take the bus across the bridge. The bus is here already. We made it through. That was super easy. Now's the hard part, which is trying to find a way into town. We're actually gonna have to find somebody. Let's do this. All right, so I think we told you already that we're noobs when it comes to <laughs> bargaining. I don't know if we got a good deal. We might've just been ripped off. Doesn't really matter. I think, okay, rule of thumb though, I think we did have an okay time. They said, he said I wanted um, 100 baht per person which I was like, absolutely not. I'll walk an hour, I don't care. And then he was like, okay, 150 for the two of you. And I said, no. Mm -mm. And he said, okay, okay, 50 baht each. So he cut it in half, which is like typically what you're supposed to do. So I don't think we got ripped off that much, but he wanted to. Yeah, he wanted I mean, to. oh well, we got here and we didn't, I mean, that would have been over an hour walk in the rain. Um, but now we have about three hours until our bus leaves. This is going to be our first overnight bus ever, so I don't know how it's going to go. Can't wait to see. We'll find out. <laughs> That's what I say every day. 
Maybe. We'll find out. Okay, so two things we've heard about this bus. One, it gets ice cold. So first time I've been wearing a jacket in almost a month. Yeah. So we brought outerwear. We brought long socks. We brought so our long. neck pillows. Number two is we heard it gets really loud with like they have TVs and that maybe they blast time movies, but we'll find out. We'll find out. I brought earplugs, an eye mask, so I think we're set. We have- These chairs are huge. Like, way bigger than airplanes. Way so. bigger. <laughs> so. I feel like it can't be that bad, right? We'll update you when they wake us up. Oh, that's the other thing. They wake you up in the middle of the night to get off. So it leaves at 8.15 and we're supposed to get into Bangkok at about 6 a.m. So. Nothing is open yet, including our hotel, clearly. So we have to find a coffee shop, which doesn't open until six, so we'll wait outside the door like creeps. <laughs> and then we'll hang out there for a couple hours until our hotel opens up. And then we'll settle in. Yeah, the night is not over. But I will say, so many people had terrible reviews about that bus ride, and it was a breeze. It wasn't as cold as they were saying. We did stop in the middle of the night and get kicked off the bus. No one begged for money for our bags. Like literally anything that someone mentioned didn't happen. No happen loud us. music. And every single review says that you get fried rice. Definitely not. You get this creepy little like meat slice thing. We, we didn't touch it. Is. But then you get like <laughs> chips and water. So literally every single thing that we've ever read is a total myth. Yeah. Total myth. That number 68, that's us, baby. Oh boy, I am excited to sit. We made it, and it's way early check-in. <laughs> like the pool literally just opened a minute ago. <laughs> we weren't supposed to get in until 2 p.m. It's 9 a.m. They let us in. They let they us didn't in. Even have to ask. And this is our first hotel in a week that has an elevator. Oh. The little things. Life is good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this room is triple the size of everywhere else we've been staying. Am I exaggerating? Double. Oh, Double? We're, we're here for four days. I'm so happy. Okay, so we've got queen size bed, uh, a view. Of uh, someone in their towel. Of you. <laughs> well, you know. A desk area. Just a whole like, lot of wasted space. <laughs> tons of room. <laughs> um, our refrigerator with nothing in it. Two bottles of water. Seriously, when hotels come with water. <laughs> a real toilet. A, and a separate shower. A real shower, you guys. Good night. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> we are signing off for a while because let's just say we maybe got two hours of sleep last night. We've been 
working at a cafe since 6 a.m. Uh -huh. It's an hour to get here through walking in public transit. So yeah, Bye. time for a nap. <laughs>